Hi, this is Kave, and in this episode, uh, I'm gonna uh, talk about coroutines, especially why coroutines is uh, very much cheaper than threads. Uh, for talking about this topic, uh, first of all, we must uh, familiar with a uh, uh, paradigm in uh, computer programming cooperative multitasking versus uh, preemptive multitasking so uh, in uh, co cooperative multitasking uh, this is a, a style of computer multitasking that the operation system uh, never initiate a context switching from running process to another process. Uh, instead, uh, the application itself uh, take the control to uh, another process. Uh, so, uh, this is a, a volunteer lib uh, process that program may do. And uh, this is the uh, typically uh, concept of co uh, cooperative uh, multitasking. Uh, in the other side, in the preemptive uh, multitasking, the OS is responsible for switching between processes. So the uh, OS scheduler uh, handle uh, the uh, switching stuff so uh, we have uh, context switching for example because the uh, OS is uh, involving in this process for context, uh, context switching or uh, switching the uh, resources uh, and uh, take it to another process we may end up with uh, system calls maybe it's uh, became kernel mode or user mode uh, but uh, the deeper level of the uh, operation system is uh, involving so it make it uh, more heavier than uh, in the uh, cooperative style um, so maybe you know that in the Java, for example, if we uh, talk in the uh, Android context, uh, in the uh, Java code, we only have uh, threads, but in the Kotlin, we have threads and coroutines, but we almost everywhere using coroutines because uh, it's a lightweight feature because uh, it is a, a co uh, execute in a cooperative mode and um, as i said uh, it didn't involve the os and its scheduler and so on so uh, and yes this is uh, mentioned and but uh, the uh, cooperative uh, style have uh, has one issue uh, if uh, as mentioned here uh, one poorly designed program can consume all of the CPU time for itself either by performing uh, executive calculations or by uh, busy waiting so uh, in this style uh, maybe uh, the, the mistake uh, of developer uh, broke uh, all of the things but in a preemptive style uh, because the OS is responsible for uh, changing the uh, resources between processes uh, it's become rarely system going uh, to hang but in the uh, cooperative if you uh, take uh, most of the resources maybe OS uh, uh, hanged and uh, yes and it, this is a hazard situation 
uh, especially in the uh, server environment uh, so but as we know if uh, if we implemented the program in the sufficient way uh, I think we must leave uh, benefit uh, of the uh, benefit of uh, cooperative uh, multitasking. Uh, and uh, what we can say about that? Previously, uh, I see a list that uh, a table uh, lists that all of the uh, languages that currently support uh, Kuroutine because Kuroutine is, uh, uh, I think it, it is here. Uh, because Kurutin is a concept that uh, introduced in uh, 1958 <laughs> in the assembly program. But uh, right now, many languages uh, are support this uh, style as native, such as Go, PHP, F Sharp, C++, C Sharp or uh, Haskell, Ruby, Rust but I don't see Scala okay and many other uh, languages maybe uh, you working with that Python for example and so on but uh, also uh, this is a, a interesting uh, article that uh, talk about the history behind the curtain itself and uh, explain some uh, concepts in the curtain such as yield resume and uh, a stackful or a stackless curtain and so on or difference between coroutine and uh, subroutine and uh, yes this is all and some implementation that's I uh, in the uh, specific uh, languages and maybe uh, it is interesting for you if you uh, play with other uh, scholar coroutine but uh, in that list scholar didn't mention or swift library uh, uh, I think this is a, a library for a Scala not native support because that list is uh, the languages that natively support the Kurutin concept but for example in Swift we have a library for that yes all right uh, this is uh, the all of them I think uh, that uh, we can summarize uh, all of the things that we discussed in the cooperative style the uh, program uh, handle the, con the uh, yielding the uh, resources and uh, resume other async uh, processes but in the uh, preemptive style uh, the OS itself involving the uh, releasing and uh, managing uh, resources and uh, have its own scheduler to schedule uh, accessing uh, resources between processes uh, as you as you can uh, guess thread is a uh, thread uh, the implementation of thread is in the 
preemptive style but coroutine is in uh, cooperative style but uh, in java for example uh, we have a, a not library uh, java is going to support uh, coroutine natively with loom project loom current uh, correctly is in uh, preview state let me search loom java uh, i think this link is a good wiki uh, loom basically is a, a virtual thread not a physical thread and uh, it's very similar uh, to uh, coroutine as i understand that it's uh, i think we can says that we can say that uh, loom is uh, equal implementation of coroutine in the uh, jdk or in uh, virtu uh, yes uh, Java Virtual Machine. Yes. Uh, but uh, it uh, has some differences uh, from Coroutine itself because in um, Java projects, especially in uh, Android world, we still uh, very uh, Java co legacy code base. But uh, we know that when uh, we want to uh, create a new project, we can directly use uh, Kotlin and I think this is the best choice and I don't think we have uh, any scenario that uh, we create a new project with Java. Uh, but in uh, i think in one scenario we can consider java when we have java developer <laughs> uh, in iran uh, we have uh, companies uh, that uh, enterprise companies and big companies that uh, their code base uh, is in Java and they don't any plan to migrate it to Kotlin and I asked him uh, why you migrated why you don't migrate to Kotlin and use the benefit of Kotlin uh, and he uh, and he says that uh, we have a team uh, from Java backend and shifted uh, them to the uh, Android team and it is uh, more convenient for us to uh, use Java uh, uh, in comparison with uh, Kotlin but uh, yes but uh, in the legacy code in the uh, uh, in a Java legacy code always uh, I think uh, always uh, be a resistance to migrate code base to Kotlin because uh, in most scenarios in the aspect of business or uh, product uh, it is uh, more convenient that add features uh, de debugging the bugs and so on uh, but this technical depths uh, may impact performance or uh, future development and so on so it is hard to uh, technical team to uh, convince the uh, product team that we must migrate uh, to Kotlin and maybe maybe uh, the product team hear that the loom will uh, fix all of the uh, threat issue in Java but uh, we must concern that uh, uh, still now and I think in the future uh, Kurutin uh, is better than Loom I think this is my uh, personal uh, opinion but uh, if you want to uh, know more uh, technical detail and the difference uh, 
behind the uh, implementation of loom and coroutine and uh, compare the performance such as in uh, memory aspect cpu aspect io aspect and so on indeed uh katrin conf uh, 2023 uh, we have a, a great talk great great talk by uh, roman that uh, compare uh, the loom and coroutines very deeply this is a, a 45 minutes talk and it is very amazing talk i think and uh, i put it link somewhere uh, if you want to uh, know the difference uh, or uh, compare the project loom versus uh, cutting coroutines uh, i highly uh, encourage you to uh, see that talk this talk so that's it and i don't uh, i think uh, there is no uh subjects that i missed see you in the next episode